So the Carolina Panthers have signed XFL star quarterback P.J. Walker. Now, P.J. Walker played for the Houston Roughnecks of the new XFL. He led the XFL in passing yards and passing touchdowns. He had 1,338 passing yards, 15 touchdowns, and threw only four interceptions. Now, he is going to the Carolina Panthers, reunited with his former college football head coach, Matt Rule, who coached P.J. Walker at Temple. Now, I think this was the best thing that could happen for P.J. Walker because now I believe P.J. Walker has a good chance to become the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. It may not be this season, but I see that P.J. Walker will be the starting quarterback somewhere down the line in the future for Matt Rule and the Carolina Panthers. And for those of you guys who are going to come on here and be like, oh, JT, he was in the XFL for a reason. This was a guy who wasn't even good enough to start in the NFL. He was on the Indianapolis Colts practice squad. What makes you think he's good enough to be the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers? He was in the XFL for a reason. He's a backup at best. And I think if you say that, I think you're pretty ignorant. Um, because PJ Walker, it was not the same quarterback he is now that he was a couple of years back. You see, that's why it's good to have leagues like the XFL, the CFL, that players who don't really succeed their first time in the XFL or aren't really that good can go to these leagues, develop against some top-level competition because the XFL is a step up in competition for college football. It's probably the second-best professional football league other than the NFL because in the XFL, you're not just facing young studs who weren't good enough to make NFL rosters. You're facing seven-year vets. You're facing eight-year vets. You're facing players who have had success on the NFL level such as guys like Eli Rogers who was the former wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers who was a starting wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers semi Colts. so I mean it's a lot of talent from all different levels of background in the XFL some players on the XFL because they were starters but they end up getting injured and got waived you got some quarterback you got some players in the XFL that are veterans just looking to get a chance to play football again so PJ Walker was facing some very top level competition and he is a way better the quarterback than what he was when he was playing for the Indianapolis Colts. And even when he was playing for the Indianapolis Colts, he wasn't that bad. As was able to find a couple of preseason games with P.J. Walker playing in them for the Indianapolis Colts. And he wasn't really that bad in my opinion. Yes, he was a little bit raw and needed some molding, but he is a lot better quarterback now than where he was prior to when he was in the XFL. That's why it's so good to have leagues like the XFL around so players can develop, get better, then get another opportunity to succeed in the X in the NFL because they're a lot better. They got a place to groom their talents and a chance to grow. Versus going to the NFL where you're just stuck on the practice squad. You don't really get a chance to really get a lot of in-game action, really. So for P.J. Walker going to the Carolina Panthers, what he brings to this Carolina Panthers team and he brings to the Carolina Panthers offense. Well, on P.J. Walker, you're getting a really dynamic quarterback. A lot of people will say he was the Lamar Jackson of the XFL. But in my opinion, he reminded me a little bit more of Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson. Now, both of those guys are magicians. They're able to extend plays in the backfield. Um, and they're also able able to scramble for a few yards that they need to. Now, P.J. Walker, in my opinion, is a lot more athletic than um, what Russell Wilson is. He's really a good clone of Kyler Murray, really. Both those guys are dead accurate with the football. They have pretty good arms. And, I mean, both guys are dynamic runners. But they are first passers. Then if nobody's open, then they look to run with the football. And, I mean, I think P.J. Walker only had, like, 91 rushing yards, believe it or not, and one rushing touchdown. So, this wasn't a guy who was running all over the field for all these 80-yard highlight real touchdowns and things like that. No, this is a guy that is a pass-first quarterback that looks for receivers to get open first. Then if nobody Nobody's open. He checks down, tries to extend the play, then he runs for the extra yardage. So for the Carolina Panthers, what you did is you got a quarterback of the future. P.J. Walker is a quarterback that can be groomed into a starting quarterback and... He is a great alternative for the Carolina Panthers. They were looking to draft the quarterback at 7th. Now they don't need to draft a quarterback. Now they can go deep to tackle. Maybe you draft Derek Brown or maybe you can draft the offensive line or whatever team needs that the Carolina Panthers are looking for right now. They don't need to address that pick using a quarterback. They can use that pick on other alternatives. Because now you got a guy in P.J. Walker who I believe P.J. Walker is the equivalent to a first-round quarterback. Because if P.J. Walker was eligible to join the 2020 NFL Draft, he would pretty much be up there with Tua Tavolo, Justin Herbert, and Joel Burrow. He's that freaking good. And if you haven't seen P.J. Walker, you go back and watch some XFL games. They have a lot of full XFL, full-length XFL games on YouTube everywhere. So just look up Houston Roughnecks XFL games. That's where you'll see P.J. Walker. He had number 11. I think this is a very good 
good fit because you got to think, I don't think Matt Rule picked up P.J. Walker to be the long-term backup. I don't think his... As a former college football head coach, I don't think you will pick up one of your former players to be like, oh, I want you to be my backup. No, you picked up one of your former players because you think that he has the potential to potentially be the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. I think that Matt Rule not only was just looking out for one of his former players, but providing his former players with a well-deserved opportunity to become the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. And listen, I know they have Teddy Bridgewater and things like that, but I don't think Teddy Bridgewater's a long-term solution for the Carolina Carolina Panthers. I think he is just a short-term option until the Carolina Panthers are able to figure out the quarterback um, situation going forward. And I think with P.J. Walker there, we want to see P.J. Walker get some more development under Matt Rule. He can learn from Teddy Bridgewater and eventually become the starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. So let me know what you guys think about this signing down in the comment section down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.